At the very beginning, an idea takes shape. The R&D division, subdivided into specialized departments focusing on the various product groups, is responsible for turning ideas into products ready to be launched on the market. The R&D Technology and Logistics Department manages and coordinates the undertakings of all R&D subdepartments in close cooperation with the sales and production departments. It is also responsible for the management of the R&D facilities, such as the test workshop, test bench and material science laboratory, which are used by all R&D departments. All departments work closely together to achieve the best results. For instance, the materials laboratory is working on an enclosure for the prototype of an electric limit switch, following the construction plans drawn up by the R&D team in charge of pneumatics. In their laboratory, the prototype is assembled, tested, and optimized. The key product group of positioners is also taken care of by the pneumatics department. Since modern positioners are hybrid, working both with pneumatic and electronic technologies, the interdisciplinary teamwork with the industrial electronics department is absolutely essential. Apart from positioners, the center of activities of the industrial electronics department includes other electronic instruments for industrial applications, such as compact controllers, converters, and solenoid valves. They also develop hardware and software, which are checked to make sure they are compatible with other systems. Another area of responsibility is the test for electromagnetic compatibility. The positioner being tested must be insensitive to electromagnetic interference, yet at the same time should not create interference itself. The same requirements are placed on controllers and control systems for building automation, as well as for district heating and cooling systems. The development of hardware and software for this control equipment is taken care of by a highly specialized team at Samsung. The R&D department for self-operated regulators also works in close cooperation with the electronics R&D. In former times, this department was only responsible for the purely mechanical products. These days, simple control valves for building services and electric actuators controlled using networks are also developed here. Electric actuators are even used on small control valves for process engineering applications. However, the majority of valves developed for industrial applications work with pneumatic actuators. The actuator diaphragms are developed in cooperation with the Material Science Laboratory, which also assists in the selection of the right materials and tests the temperature and corrosion resistance. With the aid of vibration tests, it verifies the ruggedness and reliability of Samsung instruments. Valves are tested on the test bench to check their flow and noise performance. Tests are also conducted on valve components, such as diaphragms, packings, and bellows, to optimize their reliability under operating conditions. Additionally, characteristic valve data are collected on the test bench. In combination with theoretical data, they are used to determine methods of predicting the actual valve performance. Thanks to the R&D department's contribution to national and international standardization committees, Zamzon valves are accepted worldwide in process control applications and safety systems.